For chapter eight, we um, made sure that we focused on chapter eight for the study session and with the Bunker Hill battle and what the effect was it with like the vulnerability of the British regulators to attack the American militiamen. And we also went through um, the Second Continental Congress and how that was different from the First Continental Congress and like the, um, the results of that and the, uh, the cause of that Continental Congress. Yeah, and then we went over uh, the uh, Revolution for Women document, and we went we went over it, and we kind of did a hips over it by Abigail Adams. Yeah, and we summarized the chapter in our own words, so it would give us a better understanding of it, so we would know it better for the quiz that's going to be happening. And also for Thomas Paine's republicanism idea, I personally didn't get it, so we researched it online, and I feel like that helped us a lot because we, in layman's terms, we found out what Thomas Paine actually wanted to say, and um, we found like little PowerPoints for that and everything. So that just helped reflect or refresh our peps for that unit. And we went over the Moodle questions online, uh, so that would help get uh, that would help us on the quiz. And we went over the review questions at the end of the chapter, like always, just so they would uh, just give us like a basic overall summary in shorter terms. And also some of the wars and the battles that were fought. We just made like a little spreadsheet, or not a spreadsheet, but like a study sheet of like the Battle of Trenton and the Borgonese blundering invasion. And just so we knew that um, what was what and what caused each of those battles and the results of them. And also with the treaties, we did the same thing with like the model treaty. And we just kind of helped each other on the notes. That was it. Yep.